We are welcomed back by baseball insider and the host of leadoff spot on MLB Network Radio, Steve Phillips. And it has been a busy day. What a day, Steve. Your reaction to the Soto to San Diego trade. It is a monster trade. I mean, I have never seen this level of talent, this amount of talent changing hands in one deal. And look, Juan Soto's a terrific player. He's young. It's going to be three playoff runs of control for the Padres this year. And then obviously a control for two more seasons and a big bat. And I mean, I can understand the trade from both sides certainly for the Padres they're bringing in Soto he's going to have an impact in that lineup with Fernando Tatis Jr. Manny Machado and on the other side of it for the Washington Nationals they got a huge return on this deal and so they're bringing back extraordinary talent to be able to rebuild and quickly start to turn things around there as these young guys develop and here's the reality of it A.J. Preller had to make this deal if he had lost out to the Dodgers again, like he did last year on the Max Scherzer front, where they ended up with Scherzer and Trey Turner, he, it just he wouldn't have recovered from it. And so I think Mike Rizzo in, in D.C. had to know that he could keep asking and A.J. Preller would keep saying yes. And he ended up making the deal of, of certainly of the century uh, to be able to bring back that kind of return. Yeah, Mike Rizzo, the talk of the town right now. A.J. Preller so far the star of this MLB trade deadline. And Steve, this just coming down from Mark Feinsan that Eric Hosmer has, in fact, declined to be traded, said no to being traded. But the deal is still happening. So now San Diego has to figure out what to do with Hosmer and that three-year $39 million salary, your take. Yeah, I think that, first of all, when he was included in the deal, he had no trade clause. I'm thinking, why would he approve this? So I want to mm -hmm. leave the first place Padres where I can live in San Diego and go to D.C. No offense to D.C., but I mean, they're a last place team. Why would he ever approve the deal in the first place? And he earned the right to reject that trade. Now, you know, they're going to have to manage egos. They're also going to try to figure out how they're going to manage a roster that, you know, will now have Soto, but it also ends up with Josh Bell being there, too. And again, a big part of this trade, bringing Josh Bell in, who's had a terrific season, a switch hitter with power from both sides, and Luke Voigt. Uh, and so they've got a lot of first basemen. And, and DHs and so I think it's going to be a managing job no question and I don't know where they're going to find an outlet they've tried in the past to move both Will Myers and Eric Hosmer without being able to do it but now they've got to manage Eric Hosmer's feelings and he's a classy mm -hmm. guy he's a first class teammate I think he'll be okay but playing time and feelings are going to be something that you know Bob Melvin's going to end up having to manage there is this just a situation Steve where you just eat the contract and you let him go you know, I don't think so. I, th I think there's there's still value for Eric Hosmer. So I would think they're going to try to do everything they can uh, to, you know, spin a deal here right now. I would hope that they don't do that. I don't know that that's the right message, the right thing to do. And, and for Hosmer, there's got to be an outlet. Look, if you're going to eat the whole thing, can you find somebody who will pay him five million a year moving forward? Probably. So they've got to be scrambling right now, you know, spending some time with other teams, just seeing if they can't find an outlet for him. Now, the other factor in all of this is where'd the money come from for the Padres? We kept hearing that they were right up against the, the competitive balance tax threshold that A.J. Preller had been told not to go over it. They're blowing through that thing right now and, and, <laughs> and paying dividends. And the other thing, remember, they're a wild card team. And they better hope that they're the first wild card team because if they're not, they're going to likely, as things stand now, play a three game series in Atlanta in the wild card round. And so they don't even get a home series with Juan Soto as part of this mix unless they start to play better and pass the Atlanta Braves or the Mets or whomever else would be that first wild card team.